think of it. to the Velvet Room. Registering for so is overriding acceptable? All registered. Will you register it to the compa- All registered. Is overriding ex- All registered. Will you register it to the compa- All registered. Will you register it to the com- I've completed registration. Will you register it to the compa- All registered. Will you register it to the compa- All registered. Is overriding acceptable? I've completed registration. Are you in search of new power? What kind of- This power might be too much for you. You can't control this one yet. You can't control this one yet. This power might be too much. This persona is powerful. This would be a wise choice. What do you wish to inherit? It appears it will receive a f So it begins. for you this power might be too much for you this persona is powerful what do you wish to inherit it appears it will receive a <laughs> why this is exciting isn't it for you. This would be a wise choice. 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 Be wise choice. Is this acceptable? Is this acceptable? Is this acceptable? You can't control this one yet. This persona is powerful. It is a special persona you desire, is it not? This persona is powerful.
It seems you have been blessed with some power. <laughs> A new power emerges. the personas you would like to... This would be a wise choice. This power might be too much for you. What kind of persona do you desire? Very well. We look forward... Surprised? Truth be told, we all visit this world every night. What are you saying? Who the hell are you? <sighs> Didn't mommy teach you any manners? You haven't even introduced yourself. Come on, take a look. Name, address, age, etc. This is you, right? Where did you get this? Somebody's got a grudge against you. And they asked us to get revenge. Revenge? What kind of bullshit is this? Who put you up to this? Can't tell you. We're professionals. Professionals? Oh shit. Those rumors online. You're saying they're true? For real? Shall we get this over with now? Hey, wait! I haven't done anything! Why me? What'd I do? That is not our concern. Your notion of right and wrong is irrelevant. My client's wishes are all that matter. People hear what they choose to hear, and believe what they want to believe. No! Stay away! Get away from me! You squeal most magnificently. Such raw emotion. He's not dead. Doesn't matter. We held up our end of the bargain. And besides, tomorrow this will just seem like some random crime. Well, if there's nothing else. I'm feeling rather tired.
Yeah. please. Fushimi-san of Class 1C. The Student Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the Student Council room immediately. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money too. You two knew each other so well. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good. You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um, Miss President, I... I... brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Thank you so much! That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. 
If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi! All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait! Fushimi! remember what happened that day? You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I also remember handing the fee money to you directly. Or are you really going to say that this is my mistake? Fee money? Give me an explanation right now, or else... I'm so sorry. You're right. It's, it's completely my fault. Well, Senpai has been... Wait, what? Well, the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I've been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> Come on! Can you blame me? <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> it's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. I've been like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while, but I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now. Senpai, I... I love... I love you! What did you say? Hi, how are you today? 
Just one? I'll have what he's after. Hmm? Coming right up. One house special. Don't you get sick of eating the same thing all the time? Shut up. You're the one always eating that protein shit. <laughs> Here you go. One house special. Uh, be careful. It's hot. So, you still haven't made up your mind? Is that what this is about? We've got four new members this year. Things have changed quite a bit since you left. We're more aggressive now. Not interested. Think about it, Shinji. Don't let your power go to waste. My power ain't worth shit. Shinji. I made up my mind a long time ago. I ain't going back. You have to let the past go. What's done is done. It's time you moved on. <laughs> you should talk. What? Face it. You're no different than me. Uh, hey, Shinji! dramatic. It's like the stuff from overseas. This series is known for having a strong female protagonist. I've been curious about it for a while, but I heard it also has horror elements. No way! I've been totally looking forward to this. It's just, this kind of thing is way more fun to watch with someone else, you know? Oh wait, it's starting! Man, the tension is that cliffhanger really made me want to know what happens next. I guess it was more zombies than horror, huh? The main girl was just an ordinary person, but she stood so strong in the face of adversity. I love that! I feel like I was able to focus on the story thanks to you. I'll let you know when I borrow the next one. Seriously?
all one-on-one -on -one and two of us actually won! That means we tied the sixth graders. Can you believe it? They said they're gonna let us use the schoolyard now. And they want to be friends with us. They think we're pretty fast for fourth graders and told us we should play together sometime. Oh, you guys! I never had a doubt. I know how hard you all worked. Wow, thanks. Um, big sis? <laughs> you don't have to call me that if you don't want to. Auntie Yuko is fine. One, two, three. Good luck with, with your boyfriend! boyfriend. <sighs> they called you my boyfriend till the very end. Oh, okay. Wait, huh? Hey, don't laugh. Joking like that is bad for my heart. Oh, you really got me. Saying something like that out of nowhere. <sighs> you know what this feels like? The end of some cheesy high school drama series. Hmm. Like the kids have left the nest. Now that it's suddenly so quiet, yeah, a little. <laughs> Although it was pretty tough at the beginning. Teaching those kids how to race. It was pretty fun. They looked so happy every time they got faster. And it made me happy too. That feeling of wanting to help them just kept growing bigger and bigger. You know, this might have been the first time I really put my heart into something. And it's not that I've been slacking off as a team manager, but maybe helping and teaching people is more of my thing. It kinda made me think about the things I should do for my future, I mean. Oh, by the way, I wanted to thank you. Maybe we should throw a little party. You know, to celebrate our first attempt at coaching. Yay! Oh, I can't wait. Hmm, now where should we have the party at? I kind of want it to be somewhat fancy. I'll look around for a place. I didn't have much confidence at the beginning. So you being here with me was really... Well, let's talk about that next time. We'll have plenty of time at the party. Shall we head home? Selling bulk? All right, I'll take that. All done here? Come back soon.
I've been waiting for you. I'm looking forward to it. Here are my requests. Let's hear the results. Embarrassing. You have my thanks. Let's hear the results.
Morning. This is Elizabeth. I am calling to inform you that more humans have wandered into Tartarus. Two this time, I believe. Please swiftly and safely conduct a search and rescue. Goodbye now. for you. Oh my! An encounter with one of your world's exquisite treasures! Right out of the blue! So this is the fountain. It makes sport of water, a precious resource, and the very foundation of life. Such a sinful form of art! I've heard of its mystical powers, wherein those who offer coin may have their wishes granted. Oh, is that so? Or perhaps the offerings were far too insufficient to have attracted the Fountain Spirit's interest. Fortunately, I anticipated this and brought a hefty sum of coin. 2,000 of your 500 yen coins, to be exact. I shall make an opening bid of 1 million yen. Oh! I was so caught up in the excitement that I started tossing coins without giving my wish any thought. This won't do. I shall give it more careful consideration before I return here in the near future. This facility here. I see there's a gentleman inside with quite the stern face. And these photographs displayed so prominently. Most wanted. Reward? Hmm. Would it be correct to presume that these are your version of my subjugation requests? be a truly mysterious process if the particulars elude even you. If they do indeed parallel my requests, I wonder how they confirm whether or not a mission has been completed. Perhaps they too require a piece of the body. My interest is piqued. This edifice over here... Is this what you call a club? Dancers dictated by the sway of one's inner passions. A subterranean garden flourishing with uninhibited desires. <gasps> oh no! It's closed right now? Oh, what a pity! I had hoped to become part of the scene. Satisfying, but I'm overwhelmed. Everything looks so new and inviting. Everywhere I look, something catches the eye. 
If you don't mind, could you perhaps recommend our next activity? Karaoke. Oh, could it be? It appears the time has come to demonstrate my hidden talents. One may even challenge professional singers at the touch of a button at this karaoke. Uh, excuse me, would you mind waiting for a moment? I hadn't noticed there was a fountain on this side as well. Oh, yet another fountain. On the opposite side, I see. So this place plays host to a trinity of fountain spirits. I apologize for the wait. Let us continue. Now then, I shall perform a song of exultation for my master. Sing along if you will. La, la, la. Oh my. You've never heard this song before? Thank you for the invaluable experiences you've shared with me today. I consider this mission a complete success. This may sound forward, but I'd like for you to accompany me again sometime. My request. Wonderful. A shame. Marvelous. Very well, then.
but I'm walking too far to go. I'm on a mission, riding up whatever it is I gotta do. Riding up my two to the DMV, I'm riding up. I look up in the sky, I'm asking me to ride. Don't let it face me, I'm keeping good vibes. When I'm on the road, watch out for all. Morning. Yeah. Get on with today's lesson. sale today. See if anything catches your eye. Take as long as you need. Everything looks good. It's all yours. Right, what are you looking for? That what you want? All right, then. What'd you bring? You gotta tell no. How many? Sure now. Sure. It's a deal. How many? Alright. I'll take that. All done here? Come back soon. Same school, right? One look at your uniform's all I need to know. Um, I'm kind of embarrassed to ask you this right off the bat, but... Would you mind not standing so close to me? You're too thin and too cool! If people start thinking we're best friends or something, I'm gonna end up as the uncool one! There you are. I thought your voice sounded familiar. You know what I'm here for. Now I hand it over. Quit making a scene, all right? People are looking at me funny. I've got some business to take care of now, but you... You're no zombie Sui Mitsukun, aren't you? I did my homework, see? You know I'm not letting you off that easy, right? I suggest you reconsider things. That was horrifying! My poor heart! I think it dropped into my coin purse for a minute there. 
My name is Nozomi Soimitsu. By the way, may I just say that you have a wonderfully big heart for someone so slim? Drama made me hungry. My stomach is definitely not amused. You want to tag along, friend? Shall I treat you to the finest dining? If so, you've come to the right place. For I am the king, the Gourmet King. That's right, Gourmet King 2009. Or was it 2010? Eh, whatever. And as the king, I know all the kingliest places for... Uh, uh, uh. Uh, my... my tummy! It's in horrible pain! I think it's an emergency! Sorry, but I'll treat you uh, another time. Sorry to bother you, Fuka. It's okay. What's on your mind? Well, uh, I was hoping you could do me a favor. With your skill, I mean. I was doing some research on our school, and I came across something strange. Ten years ago, a lot of students stopped coming to school for some reason. They were reported as absent at the time, but I found some records that suggest otherwise. Do you know anything about it, Fuka? Me? Um, not really. I know it was a long time ago, but doesn't it seem suspicious to you? From what I've heard, this isn't the first time shadows have appeared. Wait, are you saying... I don't know, but I do wonder. And I'm not trying to make trouble or anything. But Kirijo senpai acts kind of weird whenever someone brings up Tartarus. Does she? I just want to know what happened back then. And if it doesn't have anything to do with the shadows, then fine. I understand. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Oh, it's you. Welcome back. 